I'm in heaven <laughs> When I drink in rum <laughs> Tell the barman Pass another rum Hello and welcome to Rumfest 2012. My name is Martin J of SoCalVision.com. We're here at the XL Centre for a weekend of rum exhibition. There are many, many stands here presenting their rums and their products as well. It's not only just rum companies that are here today. We decide to start off at the stand that originated rum. I'm talking about Barbados. Today we're going to be walking around. I'm going to try and limit myself to a few of these as possible so that you don't hear me slurring in a couple of hours. But stay with us. This is a rum experience for 2012. We're here at the Rum Fest, we're at a Vincentian stand, I've got a Trinidadian chef standing next to me, it's a totally Caribbean experience, many of you will know his face, more of you will know his food, Chef Hassan, tell us what you're doing here. Well I'm here at the Rum Fest, this is where we showcase Caribbean culture, vibes and that spirit that has us bubbling, you know, that rum, that we, may it be from St. Vincent, it could be from Trinidad, Guyana, Guyana, all of the Caribbean, we love rum. And this is what today is showcasing what we love to the whole of Europe and they're loving it. As you can see, the people enjoying themselves and they're sweating, you understand? So the heat is on, yes. We're at a very special stand here because this rum is a lethal one, especially the sunset. This is the big boy. That's the big one. I have been given the opportunity to showcase the, the fire water, the real deal, the real trouble. I'm, I'm selling it as the, 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 the strongest rum that is being sampled at the rum fest. 85% by volume, by proof, it's 170. Turn off your central heating, I say. Put on the, your rain hat because you need something to cool you down after you take this. This is the real thing. I tell them this is what Jack Sparrow, Captain Bly, these pirates of the Caribbean that they know of, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is where they came from and this is the strong, real flavor. You get that real sugar cane richness coming back. It's not no toy thing. This is the daddy of the stuff you're talking about here. You know, it's, it's a great opportunity for us to showcase what what we have, the, you know, this is one of the, other than oil and we have the, we have Usain Bowls, we have the sprinters, but we also have a good spirit that it can be shared all around. There are bars all over the world and this is where we get to showcase it to the masses and then they can now go and purchase it and boost up our economies down there, you know, so that's what I'm doing today. That's pushing the culture, spreading the vibes and showcasing our love of the Caribbean. All right, we're going to talk food in a minute, but before we do talk food, I need to promo a rum. Now, I went to St. Vincent and the Grenadines in 2011, and whilst I was there for the carnival, Vinci Mars, I stumbled across Captain Bly. This rum is not to be underestimated. It's a very smooth, fine-tasting rum. If you get a chance to taste it, you're going to say, Martin J, God bless you. Yeah. Captain Bly, remember I told you that? It's an eight to ten. It's eight to ten years. It's what gives it its unique flavor. It's it's um, matured in oak, bourbon, Kentucky barrels. So that brings it. You can see that the color. It's a bit more darky and misty. And from the barrel, it gives that different accents that you won't get in normal other, like golden rums and dark rums. So this is it's very special. I must say it's one, of, it's one of my favorites, one of my sipping ones when I'm just chilling out after a hard day in the kitchen, it puts me down well, you know? When the West Indies won on Sunday? Yes, I. <laughs> I took a sip of that. All right, let's talk about your speciality now. Okay. Food, we've seen you on TV before. You know, you've been in the Fets, you've been in restaurants, you name it, you've been there. I admire you and I respect you for the level that you've taken Caribbean cuisine to. How are you going to incorporate that here at the Rum Fest? Well, today we have a little problem because um, we actually don't have any cooking facilities. So I'm going to be 
bringing the rum infused in a something sweet that you know the ladies love anything that's a sweet so i'm going to be doing a macadamia rum caramel dipping sauce that i'm you can use this sauce now to dip exotic fruits pineapple um you could also have it as a accompaniment with um like my what i really wanted to do today was to give them some plantain and ginger fritters to dip into that macadamia spa, rum spice caramel sauce you know what i'm talking about you could you could feel what's going on but we have a, a few logistical problems with the venue so i'm having to use fruit you know but rum is you can it's not all only a liquor you could take once you burn out that spirit it it's an essence that you can add to many a dish and, and it brings it up in a different way you know sometimes when i i use it people are like What's that in there? I'll be like, yeah, you remember that 1919 we were drinking, or you remember that chairman spice? It's some of that that have influenced into the dish and bring just not the, the spirit that puts you down, but the flavor that they put into that spirit to make it, to give each of, of, of the rums their, their own identity. So I'm going to try as much to bring in that flavor to, to, to ensure that I get the rum flavor coming out. I, I, I will, I'm going to be going for the big boy. The strong flavor. So when you taste it, it's not going to be like, is there rum? You're going to be like, ah, there is the rum there, you know? So that's what I'm doing at the rum fest. Caribbean people, let's just share this love of our, what we do, be it music, food, culture, show the masses what we're talking about, give them what they love. They just want, they want to be, they want to run fast like us. They want to look good like us. They want to eat good food. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The Caribbean. Boom. Good stuff. Chef, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. This is not a man to underestimate. <laughs> He's taken food to levels, you know. Roads Across the Caribbean was an awesome series that taught everyone a, a, a hell of a lot. And I just want you to keep on doing what you're doing, man. As you said, I have a new program. It's called Caribbean Footsteps. It's being aired on Carib Vision in the Caribbean. So if you get to tune in, we I am a, the presenter on this. It's showcasing Caribbean culture. We travel as far as Amsterdam, France, Birmingham, Rotterdam, just showcasing the best of our people, actors, lawyers, there's people who represent what the Caribbean is about. And, you know, just sharing that love. And the more people we enlighten, the further we can get, you know. So thank you for, for the opportunity. To Currently joined by someone very special who I'm going to let introduce herself as she's here in a, in a dual capacity. Um, hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Just tell us who you are. I am Perla Perdomo. I am the Belize High Commissioner to the United Kingdom and I am also here representing one of Belize's finest rums. And what's your involvement with the rum? Well, before coming to the UK, I was the general manager for this particular company. Um, and so I was there for seven years, so I have a connection to this brand. Tell us a little bit about the, the rums that you've got here today. Well, we have a, a variety of our rums. Um, we have the famous one barrel rum, which are, is our flagship rum from Belize. It just won in the Rum Renaissance um, Festival in March, um, best in class in the gold category. And then we have the three-year-old rum, which is called Three Barrel and a five-year-old rum, which is a five-barrel. And we have a very special um, edition rum that we made when Prince Harry visited Belize. And we, we, um, we brought it out in March um, for on the occasion of his visit. And so when you see Prince Harry in pictures of sipping rum in Belize, it was this rum that he was sipping. How does it feel to be part of uh, the, the, this, this event, Rum Fest? Um, well, it's very special because we've always wanted to do something in Europe and because I'm here, it has made it much easier for us to, to, to be here inside of the boutique um, area because sometimes for small distilleries, it's a little bit difficult for us to be, to be profiled, but this area gives us a special chance to meet with distributors and people interested in our rums. If anyone that's watching this right now wants to find out a little, a little bit about your rums, is there a website that they can go to? Yes, the, the website is www.onebarrelrum.com or beliezebestrum.com. 
Okay, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you for talking to us too. When you travel around the Caribbean like me, especially to the carnivals, you've got used to certain rums and they have certain reputations. Um, Ray and Nephew, the harsh white rum. Um, Rivers, another harsh white rum. Clark's Court, a damaging harsh white rum that you kind of assign those kind of reputations to the rums. And then you come across another member of the family and you think to yourself, hang on a minute, what's going on here? Well, with me, I have someone that's introduced a number of members of the Clark's Court family here, Lyndon from Ramsey Rum. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Tell us, tell us a little bit about the rums that you've got on display here. Okay, well, we are fairly um, a new import and distributor of Grenadian rum. Um, so no longer the days when you get your rum coming in, 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 a, in a box when you come back from, from the islands. Um, we've tried to feature um, two sort of varieties of, of, of rum. We have our, our dark rum, which is your regular drinking, mixing rum, your, our special dark, and also your superior light, which is kind of builds into, 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 into white rum, into a white rum. Um, yeah, this is our, our, our special dark rum. Um, Slightly aged, very strong, easy to mix with Coke um, or any cola. We like to have a special duck with sorrel. Not many Caribbean people know that. Try your special duck with a little bit of sorrel for Christmas. It's, it's brilliant. And then you have your, um, your more mature and your aged rum like our Old Grog, um, which is one of our flagships. Before you go to the Old Grog, let me just say, Juve Morning in Grenada, special duck rum, which we know as Flanka, Fanta Orange, yeah? And a, and a bacon saltfish. Killer! Sorry, Old Grog. Yeah, well, Old Grog is a more sort of, um, our, our sort of steep and rum. We like to, we, we think that, when you think of Old Grog, we think about more your mature drinkers. Um, after the party, or even before you get a party started, you have a bit of Old Grog. It's one of our proper age rum. It's for the classy drinkers. It's not for the wayward drinkers who will have yet um, the more flank them. And then you have our sort of limited, uh, limited edition rum. Um, Number 37, um, celebrating 300 years of the, of the city of St. George's. Um, and it's commemorated by the owners of the Clark's Coat, um, Nick's Barrel. Um, it is a limited edition. We think that it's going to be about just about 2,500 rum. Um, and it's retailed in the UK by specialist retailers. Um, so you won't be able to find it anywhere else. But this is one of our special rum. Um, eight years old, um, mature, double mature. Um, double blended rum as, as, as well. Um, again, it's a slightly, a slight sort of flagship rum, but we don't have it for too long. So we we up to 1,570, just about another thousand rum of those to, to, um, to, to go. Yeah. Which means we need to walk away with them. And, you know, when I saw the, the, the bottle of rum, I think that one of the things that I'd like to get across today is that a lot of us just see rum as that local drink of ours that you could go down spend a few dollars get drunk off it and and that's that you're seeing some premium brands premium bottles here you know that can that can match any whiskey that can match any cognac that's on a top shelf in any bar in london and you know events like this kind of accentuate and i've just seen ian which i must 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 grab hold of him um it accentuates that our rum, yes, you can have that local rum shop vibe, but come on, how many people wouldn't want a bottle of this in their cabinet? You know the one that you hide when certain friends are coming? Before, they, before you let them in, you know they're knocking the door? You run and put this in your bedroom and then put it back downstairs when they're gone. That's, you know, that's what I'm talking about here. This, and this one of our rum is actually coming with its own um, wood box specially designed wooden box, only available from Ramsey Rum. Um, so anywhere you get number 37 from Grenada or where else, it would be just a regular box. But you get it in the UK, it would be coming with um, a wooden box as, as well. So we really do up, um, up in the market with, with your rum. And, and that's what we want to see with some of the Grenadian finest rum. Yeah. I'm slightly embarrassed. This is my first rum fest. Oh man, <laughs> you should be embarrassed. <laughs> I be embarrassed. The reason I'm embarrassed is because I've known this guy 21 years. 
I can go back to the Business Design Center in Islington, yeah, the that. Afro Hair and Beauty. Afro Hair when it was there. This is the Rambassador of the UK, Ian Burrell. Ian, congratulations, mate. Cheers, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's go back a few years okay. when it was just an idea in your head. We were sitting down in Cottons and you were telling me about the idea. What did you want to achieve then? What I wanted to achieve was uh, trying to create a show where people really got a flavor of what rum is. Um, just for the mainstream, they think rum is just a spirit you drink, you get drunk. That's not what it's about. One, rum is about sipping and savoring. Two, rum is about a lifestyle. It's more than a spirit, it is a lifestyle. So I went to create a lifestyle show uh, with music, with food, with cocktails, with rum, education, knowledge, everything. But everything is bind together with rum. We have tourist boards here, travel agents. We're promoting rum tours. We do rum and chocolate, chefs cooking with rum, rum cakes. Everything. Rum is more than a spirit, as I say. And that's what I want to do, and that's, what, that's what's happening at the moment. Now that you're down the line, you know, we're here at the XL Centre. How do you feel, and, and where do you see it going now? Well, I can only see it going bigger and stronger. Every year, I try to recreate the show to make it like it's its first year. Um, we've been in four different locations in six years. I always try to, try to reinvent it, because that's the only way to keep it fresh. We have a lot of customers that come, on a regular, that come here every year um, so coming to the XL we did it this year because it's Olympic year so we want to be in an Olympic venue and for me on a personal note one of the one of the way, reasons I created the rum fest because I remember being at uh, world travel market in the Caribbean section and I looked at all the countries there and all the tourist boards and I said I wish that this could have been a rum festival <laughs> and, and uh, two years later I created a rum festival and that's why we're back here because it was right here in this arena here where it happened it was a festival, it was at like the, the world travel market that I'd be walking around, I'd see Ian was by the bar, go up to him, yeah, get a few drinks, That's you know it. what I mean? That's I'm it. very, very proud of what you've done. Um, not only with just a rum fest, but the way that rum, the perception of rum, yeah. it, and it generally, you know? Yeah. You're right, it's not, oh, yes, sometimes, it's about plonking a bottle down on a table yeah. and going hell for leather. But, you know, uh, there's a lot of rums in here that can compete with some of the finest cognacs and whiskies that's it, that's in the it. world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and you single-handedly have managed to, to give that exposure and you've got to be credited for that, man. Well done. Cheers, man. Thank you. Well, I mean, I mean, remember the times we're sitting inside my restaurant and we're going through some old rums and we're sipping them. And these are rums that most people just take for granted or don't even know about. Uh, whether it be a 10-year-old rum from Barbados, a 12-year-old rum from Jamaica, uh, a 15-year-old rum from Guyana. We're sipping that, we're appreciating it, and that's how rum should be seen. As well as the rum, the younger rums, you mix with your favorite mixer or in a cocktail. As long as rum gets evil, equal promotion, um, as in other spirits, we're all happy. But most importantly, why I do what I do, and it's not only in the UK, because they now call me the global rum ambassador, because I mean, last week I was in Moscow, Spain, and Greece. Um, next week I'll be in Antigua. Um, uh, after that, I'll be in India, I'll be in Czech Republic, and I'm promoting rum and talking about rum cocktails. Every bottle of rum that's sold is bringing money back to, especially the Caribbean, or Central America, or South America, developing countries. I prefer my, my hard-earned money to go to those countries, the developing countries, the developed countries. Like, yeah, whiskies are great. Most of those are made in developed countries. Um, cognac, France, first world country. I had a bottle of Appleton rum, a bottle of Mount Gay, a bottle of Chambers Reserve, and going back to the economy inside the Caribbean. So that's, what, that's why I do what I do. Ian, thank you very much indeed for talking yeah, to us. Please. I look forward to many more years of success. Yeah, like I said to you, I'm very, very proud of what you've done. And I, I, I've given you a little cup here. Now, this one's yours. Yeah. Soca Vision. Oh, I'll be watching that. Yes. Make sure you tune in to Martin J on Soca Vision. But also, you might get a little guest appearance from the Rum Ambassador, Ian Burrell. Drinking, I'm drinking, drinking, I'm drinking, drinking, I'm drinking. Rum and Red Bull, and you see, let me heart full. Them want me get awful, like them on the dance, I'll get grappled. And I'm a rum and Red Bull, and you see, let me heart full. Them want me get awful, like them on the dance, I'll get grappled. We start the deal with the flask, I'm buried with ice in a glass. As a light can't find me, my last. Buy me one liquor, come me and me one boss. Drink for junk that me end us. Uh -huh. After the flask, then we move to the court. Tell the bartender the bill restart. Walk and not to rub me, use wash off me heart. If you hide and drink, then you must get I'm caught. drinking rum and Red Bull. And you see, let me heart full. Them want 
And me get awful Like them on the dance I'll get grappled And I'm rum And Red Bull And you see let me heart full How much can you drink? And me get awful Like them on the dance I'll get grappled You wanna know what I'm drinking Hapleton and Pepsi in my cup What you thinking?